Today, I am going to explain a science fiction drama film called LX 2048. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a scene from the near future where a natural calamity known as the heat up has caused people to stay indoors. This phenomenon was caused by the continuous blazing heat of the sun. Because of the inhumane conditions, people are utilizing a replica of themselves to operate outdoors. While the replica is sent to do the work outside, people have become dormant as they have nothing to do inside their houses. Hence, they have acquired mental diseases. Lithium X is the only medicine that can help them be normal, as it can help people stay in shape by providing vitamin D. Next, we are introduced to Adam Bird, the lead character of the movie. He is one of the few living humans to wake up early and to go to work. One day, after visiting a doctor, he gets to know that he is going to die soon. A devastated Adam inquires with the doctor as to whether he has any other options for survival. The doctor responds that he can only survive if someone donates their heart. The doctor also considers him fortunate after learning that he has an insurance plan from Premium 3 that will cover his children's education and upbringing after his death. Adam inquires whether he may utilize the Premium 3 insurance to get a healthy heart clone, but the doctor responds that it is only feasible if his wife agrees to the terms. When Adam hears this, he expresses his dissatisfaction with his present relationship with his wife, which is on the verge of divorce. Adam also finds out that the doctor he is talking to is a clone itself, which is unharmed by the rays of the sun. He further despises how much the present society seems to be submerged in technology. After analyzing Adam's vulnerable mental state, the doctor arranges for him to see a psychiatrist. In the following scene, Adam is shown wearing a VR headset and talking to his wife, Rena. He curses his wife during their talk, since she doesn't seem to mind or care for the fact that he is dying, and she also refuses to see him face to face. Adam pities himself for loving his wife in the first place and hangs up the phone. Afterwards, Adam dresses up in a hazmat suit and drives his car in the scorching sun to his vacant workplace. Here, we can see that the rest of his co-workers have chosen to work from home. It seems like he works for a tech firm that specializes in VR manufacture and production. He is alone in the entire office, sitting around the conference table, arguing with his co-workers virtually. He advises his boss to avoid investing in virtual reality headsets and instead focus on the creation and research of a technology dubbed CHIP, which he says will soon replace VR. Later, Adam exits his office and goes to the psychiatrist for his planned appointment. At the psychiatrist's office, Adam describes his feeling of being a lone human strolling outside in the sweltering heat. However, the present doctor also appears to be a clone. When Adam notices this, he exclaims that although the clones have all the skills as the original ones, they lack a feeling of compassion and emotion. The movie then cuts to an incident that occurred months ago. Adam reaches home after work and finds his children playing games and enjoying the virtual world. He then sees his wife relaxing in the virtual sunbath in her room. After a long day at work, he engages himself in virtual sexual intercourse with a doll which gives simulations like real intercourse. During the climax of the scene, his wife Rena appears in the room. Adam apologizes to her for not locking the door. However, an angry Rena accuses him of cheating on her with his online girlfriend. Adam tries to explain the awkward situation to her, but she ignores him and walks out. This was the incident that ignited their hostile relationship. And what an incredibly short-sighted, easily avoidable situation it was. Back in the present, Adam wakes up and grooms himself for the meeting that he has planned with his family. When he reaches home, Rena refuses to meet him. Frustrated, he calls Rena virtually from the main entrance and threatens to break through the door. Finally, Rena accepts to meet him outside, but shows no sadness or sympathy for the fact that he is dying. Adam tries to explain to her that he should be alive for the family to live happily in the future and to overcome their expenses. But Rena adamantly answers that she will cover all the expenses, including his clone, with the help of Premium 3. Adam tells her that his company is near to bankruptcy and the family will not get any insurance benefit if he dies at the moment. Despite his explanation, Rena refuses to use Premium 3 for the clone of his heart and suggests he use Lithium X so that he would get enough time to save his bankrupt company. She literally does not care if he lives or dies. The next day, Adam is seen calling the retirement home to speak with a man named Donald Stein, but gets no answer. 
After that, he gets stressed and calls his AI girlfriend named Maria. Maria seems to be concerned that he is crying and tries to comfort him. Despite the fact that Adam knows Maria has been programmed to make him feel good, he still believes that she loves him. He lies on his bed, listening to the dream of Maria being with him. Suddenly, he wakes up to Donald pointing a gun at him. Donald asks Adam how he knows about him and about the chip technology. Adam explains that he tried to call him earlier as he believes that he is the creator of the chip technology. Adam then asks for Donald's help to save his company along with his family. Adam then goes into a flashback and remembers a clerk named Dennis Ryan, congratulating him and Rena for having three kids. Three kids at that time was very rare as the population was declining and people were barely getting married or having intercourse. The clerk then proposes to them an insurance policy called Premium 3, which would help them to clone their lost family members. The clerk also reveals that it is developed by the chief genetic engineer, Donald Stein. Rena seems excited about the proposal, but Adam looks skeptical. Back in the present, Adam tells Donald that he found him with the help of his dental records and also praises him for being the father of human cloning. Donald laughs at his words, but nods in agreement, telling him that the augmented pigmentation of the brain is not possible without using the chip. After a few drinks, Donald opens up and says that after the big heat up, he was assigned by the state to clone humans who were not affected by the sun. Adam expresses his hate toward the idea of cloning humans and wants to be accepted for who he is. Donald then mentions that he also found his true love in his virtual girlfriend. The movie again cuts to the scene where Adam and Rena are fighting after she found Adam having a virtual girlfriend. Rena is disgusted by the fact that a virtual girl is able to satisfy him better than she could. After their argument, Rena suggests that their relationship would only work if Adam deletes his virtual girlfriend. Adam refuses and their relationship ends. In the present, both Donald and Adam are now connected to each other at another level after a night of drinking and smoking together. Donald claims that he can build a clone heart for Adam. He also adds that the pain Adam is feeling is emotional rather than physiological and concludes that his heart is normal. Adam is feeling pain for the reason of not taking lithium X. Donald accepts the fact that he too created the clone of his virtual girlfriend for satisfaction. He then purchased his freedom by selling the patents of the technology of creating the chip. For the sake of the bond they have formed, Donald promises to help Adam by creating a clone of his virtual girlfriend, Maria. The next morning, Adam calls his mother and feels weird about her avatar, which she created to be significantly younger. His mother asks him if he takes Lithium X regularly. On hearing this, Adam expresses his hatred towards the drug. He then notices his hand being burnt by the sun and immediately covers the windows. Late at night, Rena pays him a visit and inquires about his well-being. She is there with a plan to gain access to Premium 3's privileges without Adam's death. She explains to him the idea of virtual assassination and also mentions that someone she knows will create the paperwork required for the state to approve his death. Adam is shocked to hear it and asks Rena what is going to happen to him. Rena suggests him to do whatever he feels like and also expresses that she has no problem if he wants to be with Maria. At first, Adam refuses to accept her offer, but after knowing how much his wife hates him, he reluctantly agrees to do it. Rena then informs him that she has already done it and kisses him. Rena then hands him his new ID and his credentials, but Adam is worried about the fact that he can no longer talk to his girlfriend Maria as he is not Adam Bird anymore. His new name is found to be Richard Burbage. Rena apologizes for changing his identity, but also assures him that she will urge the cloned Adam not to delete Maria. When Rena is about to return back, a van hits her, killing her instantly. I have never been less upset to recap a character's death. After some time, police and paramedics arrive at the scene. One of the officers reaches out to Adam and expresses his condolences and also suggests he see a therapist. He goes through Adam's profile and finds out that they are on a Premium 3 insurance plan. He assures him that a better version of Rena will arrive within a few days and will take care of the children. Following the officer's departure, Adam returns to his room and attempts to get into his account only to discover that all of his credentials have been changed. A nervous Adam then makes himself puke to get rid of the booze in his system. After a while, he notices that someone is at the door. When he reaches out, he discovers Maria, who starts kissing him passionately. Adam is taken aback and can't take his gaze off of Maria, as she is the girl of his fantasies. He wants to be intimate with her, but Maria mentions that she is still undergoing Donald's tests. 
After some time, Adam discovers that Donald had made love to Maria before transferring her to his house. Not cool, Donald. Adam overreacts, and Maria advises him to calm down. She also tells him that she has the right to look into other possibilities. Later, Adam notices Maria showering. He then walks out into the living room and begins searching Maria's handbag. Inside, he discovers protection and a transparent chip. After Maria is done showering, Adam confronts her about the chip. She responds that the chip can download and transmit the complete brain of a dying person to the virtual world. Adam is taken aback when he learns that a single chip may hold a full person. Adam stares at Maria, both impressed and terrified. As she intends to leave, Adam begs her to stay with him. However, Maria rejects, claiming that her body's cells are organized to fall in love, but not with him. Following Maria's departure, a giddy Adam dances with the pleasure doll that Maria once was. He then looks at the doll with enraged eyes and begins stabbing it with a knife multiple times. In the next scene, Adam is seen lying in a corner with his body trembling. A ring at the door awakens him up from his gloomy state, and he crawls to the door, only to be greeted by Rena's idealized version of himself. The cloned Adam talks about their wife's death with a cooler attitude and appearance. He then begins to judge the real Adam based on his appearance and the state of the house. He also tells him that he would not harm him because he was created to only use violence in self-defense. Clone Adam praises Rena and says that she is a great woman, but the real Adam can't see it because of his ignorance. All this while, the real Adam is shocked to see the clone's appearance. He then asks Clone Adam to strip in front of him to check his body structure. After witnessing all of this, the real Adam begins ranting and blaming Donald for his current state. He also inquires about Clone Adam's opinions on assassinating Donald. Real Adam is irritated by the fact that the cloned Adam is better at everything than him. The clone expresses sympathy for the real Adam and requests that he embrace his new life. This annoys the real Adam and he carries a gun with him. Clone Adam then follows real Adam to the room he enters, saying that he should be able to accept the changes happening in society. He also predicts that in the not too distant future, everyone will migrate to the digital realm. Real Adam then recalls the fact that he can't be alive in a world where another Adam exists. So, he points the gun at the clone. In an attempt to save himself, the clone reminds Adam why Rena replaced him. He then remembers that he is dying. Clone Adam then suggests real Adam take the lithium X pill in order to calm him down. As he is about to do so, he recovers from the manipulation and aims the gun at Clone Adam. The defense mechanism of the clone kicks in, and the gun slips out of real Adam's hands and drops to the table, making the gun fire right through the forehead of real Adam. In the following scene, cloned Adam is burying the real Adam. After returning home, he takes some time to pick from the two sets of clothes. Finally, the clone of Rena also appears at the door, and the two of them connect with each other in no time. Inside the house, the two of them share an intimate moment and also plan to replace their kids with smarter ones with the help of Premium 3. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.